I enjoyed my career as a firefighter. I considered myself fit. Um, and there really, there wasn't anything physically that was stopping me or incapacitating me. When it was time to work, I went to work and I worked absolutely as well as the rest of the guys. I've been to work plenty of times in my career where I didn't feel well and just pushed through it, as I'm sure most people do. The only difference is the people that I was working with that day said, well, you know, you look gray. You just don't look like I, you normally do. And uh, they wanted me to get checked out. I had a five-way bypass. I was blown away by it. I was the guy that it wouldn't happen to. And until it does happen to you or someone you know, do you really realize how real it is. I was an active mom who every day ran and um, one day started saying, this isn't right. Why is it so hard to uh, do laundry? Why is it so hard to do things when a week, two weeks ago I was running so at 30 years old, they discovered that I had a um, atrial septal defect. They decided to perform open heart. I started doing great. I did wonderful. Within a month, I was running. Within two months, I was running two miles. Within three months, three miles, four miles. Uh, did great. I had a whole year of amazing recovery. And then in 2011, I suffered the first of two strokes. You know, I was able to survive through all that and get through it, and it's been an amazing journey. If you become aware of the signs and symptoms, not only can you see wake-up calls, you can prevent from any, anything else from occurring. I changed my lifestyle by making my health my number one priority. I went through a very stressful situation uh, like two weeks before the signs started popping up. Had a situation where I had blurry vision and the eye doctor looked at it and he said he couldn't find anything wrong. Sent me home and then 10 days later, uh, I broke a blood vessel in the brain and that's how I ended up being paralyzed on the right side. Back in the early 90s, nobody really paid attention to strokes, even though it was a leading cause for disabilities. The Million Hearts campaign really spreads a message that everybody needs to hear. I'm Dr. Ed Goldenberg, co-chair of Million Hearts Delaware. Each year, more than 2,000 Delawareans die from heart attacks and strokes. Many of these casualties can be prevented when people know their numbers. Check your blood pressure and measure your waist size. Know your risk and the ABCs of prevention. Join us in our effort to prevent one million heart attacks and strokes. Visit millionheartsde.com and get connected now.